Hi, Ramar. Uh, I saw your question and I think uh, probably you are underestimating yourself because I think it's uh, although talent makes it important for many but I, I believe that if you have the interest and if you have the passion I think you can with a lot of practice get where you want to get to. You just have to keep working at it and uh, practice makes it makes you perfect you know that that's the sort of attitude you should and you should never give up i think because you have chosen this and then you have to give it all your best and i think with patience and a um, lot of work hard work i'm sure you get where you want to get all the best hi mugesh uh, I saw your question and uh, I understand what you're trying to say that you could sometimes find that you didn't have the uh, perfect shot to edit to get a smooth which is because of uh, because it's probably your initial films and uh, so this happens but I, I, I must tell you that that you need to focus on what is that you want to cover when you go into a scene so some sort of pre-planning is required for you to know that you cover all the um, actions that you require, all the emotions you require and in that process you also have to understand that somewhere there is a uh, joint being made between 2-3 shots, 2 shots, 3 shots, 4 shots, 10 shots, whatever. So then you have to see that the continuities, the angles match and the looks match. So these preparations are there and if you find it difficult, of course, in the initial stages it's you're most welcome to take an editor along so that immediately from the camera monitor footage he can convert it and put it and edit and show you which will be a great help but i think you, it's a bit of a planning you have to do and you have to sh see if suppose one dialogue is happening and you think that that requires a reaction you, unless you plan that before itself that which dialogue has to have a reaction and things like that you will not be able to cover it which will come after after seeing the edit you'll wonder oh i should have had a close so some sort of preparation and some sort of planning should be there in think uh, writing down what you want to cover uh, before the shoot and it, it can be easily done i suppose hi swami rajan I saw your questions and I think uh, equipment is something which uh, a person is comfortable with and uh, there's nothing to look down upon any equipment I think. Uh, if probably I was using Avid it's been because the first thing which came across at that time and I've been using it so I'm very comfortable with it so I continue using Avid but I know of so many people who are using FCP and then they're using uh, Adobe uh, Premiere and stuff like that which is totally not uh, wrong and nothing to look down upon you know because it, it any software is just helps you uh, get to the right edit so if you keep the focus on the editing part and the software as a tool and just a tool then I don't think you need to really worry about what software you're using see I've been in the industry for a long time so I I worked on uh, Moviela when I started off then I went to the steam back which are uh, equipments which actually run real film so they you play the film in that and you actually physically mark where on a white pencil uh, and then cut the film on a, another table and then come back there and view it again so in that process from there to uh, come to non-linear was a huge jump but I saw the possibilities and I knew that whatever editing I was doing all this time, the same thing only I'm going to do in this process also of non-linear editing, which is avid at that time. So for me, uh, the tool was exciting, but the process was the same. And I could, with this tool, I could edit in a better way, I thought. You know, while doing on film, we I used to have limitations where if I cut one, uh, film roll into one sequence then I won't be able to see an alternative version of it unless I dismantle the whole thing and make because the producer will not uh, be able to afford to make another 
print for me to do a second version of the edit to see sometimes you feel that point of view of from here you could have started and gone into the scene and then you want to try something else so that used to be a little bit of difficulty you know when this uh, possibility of non linear editing came i saw i immediately jumped to it not because it's a tool or i can do some gimmicks or something like that it's not like that it's just the same process of editing i'm doing but i'm doing it with much more uh, abandon no i'm able to uh, explore edits much more beautifully and even i can stop at one frame remove one frame and then join back one frame is just 124th of a frame of a second but still it makes a difference in some places sometimes you want to stretch something and see and you're feeling that action he has done very fast uh, so you slightly s- slow it down because that action needs that uh, you know suddenly the actor would have just opened his eyes suddenly you know very fast in that scene he he is supposed to Uh, open slowly because he is weak or something like that then you have this possibility of equipment where you can try to uh, control time control the motion to get to that right thing and then this can be of course uh, replicated in the next process of post production so all these possibilities you know for me and uh, re- when restructuring a film was happening also what would happen is i can easily move across scenes see it this version that version so the all this helped me in my transition as an editor to make my job easier faster and also more perfect and more satisfying that's the whole point of it hi sharad uh, i saw your question and uh, yeah when you have a uh, you are talking about a hero introduction or anything any i am talking about anything musical if there is a silent shot which is musical you are trying to convey something if it's a uh, intro of a character or something where it's going to be supported by music uh, you need to explore the length which you would probably keep you know it's by intuition that this much length if we keep will not be boring or it will not take away from the scene you know so you explore that first get to that and then support it with music and see if you are not sure of course now that uh, so much osts and everything is available on the online platform which you can download and place it you can easily put it judge whether this whole sequence with this music is working which of course you will just use it for the editing purpose and then give it to the music director who will actually create the real original music later but uh, as a, 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 a editor and a purist i always believe that uh, I, i would rather first see it silent you know for the for me to judge whether uh, the length is more than necessary you know is is the build up enough you know there sometimes you build up something you know to get a high out of it like a hero walking or anything you know or a suspense or something like that you if visually if you are able to hold without the support of music music is obviously going to make it more exciting but if you are able to hold and come to a conclusion that this is a length which looks without even music it's holding then you can put music sometimes it so happens that something you would have felt that one sad moment has happened at the end you want to uh finish and emotionally uh, engage your audience you may realize that after putting the music that there if a little bit more a two second extra in the shot or that shot may help so in that those cases always music helps you in putting and seeing also so it's a call it's a call that an editor takes to get to the perfect edit Hi Arun Kumar I've seen your question and I think uh, you were talking about transitions see transition is something which is uh, again a very subjective thing because it it requires or is not required is something which you decide as an editor yourself in a particular situation see every situation has see if I had a situation where I wanted to show a long passage of time in a very short time probably i would use dissolves to convey that 
lot of time is passing and things like that you know or if somewhere uh, like in previously in my f- films if if you take okay kanmani there was one scene where there was music was very electric you know the song called uh, mental manadil i had used some effects to match with the music and uh, the the uh, their day a day of uh, sightseeing turns into a medley of music so that music was so powerful that i had to play around with the visuals in which we had to uh, i had to strobe and do so it matched with the pace of the music so like this effects are something which is very subjective you use it only if it is required to be used for a part- i would use it only if it's required for a particular situation to make it and not as a general just because we have if you're working on an equipment and it has a lot of effects it's not like that every scene you need to put effects it's not the thing and regarding the pace of the film it is totally decided by the subject itself so obviously in the writing and in the editing both have to come together to create the pace of the film based solely on the subject and the way the story narrates Hi Arul Moses I I think you wanted to know the difference between a rough cut and the final cut rough cut and final cut are just a process different uh, time processes in a whole film you know if initially when you cut it and come to the first cut we call it a rough cut and then as you go on working on it and making it better and shorter and snappier and pacier all these things happen and you arrive at the final cut so the whole process during the uh, editing is like uh, sculpting you know it, it first you have a rough cut which is the basic assembly of the whole film is done so that you have one cut which has everything that has been shot which is probably not going to be retained in the film finally and as you go on you make it you know you sculpt a little you sculpt a little and make it shorter and tighter and what you want to convey you want to convey in a less time sometimes you take long it will have been written in such a way that lot of time you are taking to convey a small matter but probably you can convey it in less time how to come to that is what happens during editing and as it goes on it finishes and when it goes finally and finish it's called the final edit which is goes to the release of the film hi nyanavel uh the uh, question you have asked is uh, what is the difference uh, in between editing art film and commercial film see all the films are very similar in um, story writing or uh, you know it's what you convey if you call it an artistic film it is more because it it gets um, uh, more realistic more le- i um, mean less dramatic and uh, it caters to a very niche audience you know where like you're putting it in festivals or you're putting it in uh, selected crowd who want to watch uh, cinema as an artistic expression they don't have uh, any elements which could work commercially that is the difference between the these two i think so when when i am editing such uh, films i i would look to make uh, editing of a artistic film very very uh, less exaggerated in the other films we exaggerate moments you know lots of places emotions you exaggerate but here we will not exaggerate and keep it to a bare minimum where where it's r- as close to reality as possible so that when it goes and competes with such films all over the film festivals and uh, in the world it would be on par with them you know so you exactly keep it uh, for, for me a example is a film like two light where even we never used music because uh, it, it would take away you know if you're supporting some emotion with music it would look like so there was no use of music but it allowed you to see experience and still enjoy without music because music we use sometimes to uh, add to that emotion and drive the people up you know so that that sort of difference is there in the approach itself 
is different because you have to look at it as who is the audience over to see and think about it so it's made also like that